breaking the New York Times just broke the law. Arrest them now. The far-left New York Times editorial board is calling on Democrats to use mafia tactics from the Godfather to stop President Trump from filling a Supreme Court vacancy, Breitbart reports. Clearly the NIT not only condones, but is encouraging violence, as the editorial board writes. Barring some unforeseen development, the president will lock in a 5-4 to four conservative majority, shifting the court solidly to the right for a generation. This is all the more reason for Democrats and progressives to take a page from the Godfather and go to the mattresses on this issue. The term going to the mattresses means going to war. The Urban Dictionary accurately describes the phrase as meaning preparing for battle within the context of a mob war, a violent mob war involving firearms, assassinations, and bombings. The anti-Trump New York Times describes this editorial as a call to arms and adds that the fire now raging against Mr. Trump and his nominees can't be sustained indefinitely. This call to arms may sound overly dramatic. It's not. As hyperpartisanship, gridlock and a general abdication of responsibility have rendered Congress increasingly dysfunctional. Long after Mr. Trump is nothing but a toxic memory, the federal judiciary from the Supreme Court on down, will bear the smear of his fingerprints. The coming confirmation battle will be fierce, but no matter what happens, the fight cannot end there. Simply put, the media, Democrats, liberals and Hollywood elites have declared open season on Trump supporters. Keep in mind that the same media encouraging this violence against everyday Americans is the same media constantly campaigning to have those same everyday Americans left helpless by disarming them. John Nolt, Breitbart It's a sad day in America when Democrats' only message is to attack who support people this president and support this country. And that are here working hard every single day to try to make it better. I think it's honestly a sad day in America for Democrats and the Democrat Party that their only message is one of intolerance and one of attacking people who love this country and who are trying to do good things for